Hey guys, I'm James Melzer from MovieWeb, and today we're reviewing Roadhouse. Now, when word got out that Doug Liman would be directing the reimagining of the 1989 Patrick Swayze classic, there was an immediate backlash from fans who hold nostalgia in high regard. When it was revealed that Jake Gyllenhaal would be portraying Dalton, there were further cries of injustice. And Conor McGregor? (laughs) Oh, the horror. Like Swayze said, though, pain don't hurt, and if audiences are willing to go into Roadhouse with an open mind, they'll find that Doug Liman's version doesn't hurt either. In fact, it's a throwback to action films of the 90s with 21st century techniques that grab you by the collar, and if viewers are willing to enjoy the ride, they'll be treated to a fun couple of hours filled with heart, humor, and hard-hitting action. (laughs) Uh, I just slapped you, are you alright? From the opening sequence that sets the tone of Roadhouse with the perfect soundtrack, Jake Gyllenhaal is the embodiment of Elwood Dalton, an ex-UFC fighter whose reputation precedes him. He remains stoic, even in the face of adversary, and his nonchalant attitude and disregard for his own safety lets the viewers know that this is a man with some demons. Any doubts about Gyllenhaal's ability to take on such an iconic role are quickly laid to rest. Now let's talk Conor McGregor. There isn't much to say about Conor McGregor that hasn't already been said, but in terms of Roadhouse, the MMA fighter shines in his film debut. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're having a smoky. From his humorous introduction, the movie pulls no punches, letting audiences know that this is a guy with a screw loose and the perfect yang to Dalton's yin. He takes command of every scene he's in with snappy, albeit sometimes cliche dialogue, and expertly timed punches. Once Knox is on the job, it's over, baby. While all eyes will be on Gyllenhaal and McGregor and Roadhouse, audiences will be pleasantly surprised by the supporting cast who make the rowdy establishment in Glass Key, Florida, feel like a family. This includes Jessica Williams, Lucas Gage, Dominique Columbus, and BK Cannon. Hannah Love Lanier is a young actress with a bright future, and her scenes with Gyllenhaal add a lot of heart to the movie. Daniela Melchior as the ER doctor is a suitable love interest for Dalton throughout, and Billy Magnuson is the perfect spoiled rich kid who wants Williams' roadhouse for his own nefarious purposes, while his band of minions like J.D. Pardo and Arturo Castro do a wonderful job acting as chum to Gyllenhaal's grade white. Really interesting guy, overall. In the end, this isn't Patrick Swayze's roadhouse, and audiences would do well to remember that going in, not waving their nostalgic flags and crying foul if they want to enjoy it. The movie stands on its own two feet for a new generation with action sequences that are top-notch, an ending that, dare we say, leaves room for a sequel, and performances and scenery that deliver from start to finish. Fans of the original will easily spot the references to the 1989 film, but thankfully those are few and far between so as to allow this reimagining to breathe on its own. Roadhouse made its world premiere at South by Southwest on March 8th and hits Prime Video on March 21st. I'm James Melzer for MovieWeb. We'll see you again next time.